Assalamu alaikum everyone. I hope you're all doing well and everything is great. Today I wanted to share with you a very interesting topic. This topic used to be in my mind for a long while, especially when I started to learn about Arabic calligraphy. As a young boy, when I used to go to the masjids, I used to find this beautiful writing on the walls. And even when I look up to the domes, I found very, very large scale writings. And I used to wonder how someone could do so. Especially when I started to learn calligraphy and I started to know that I have to write in a specific way and on a horizontal level to start to produce a beautiful calligraphy. So I used to wonder how someone could write vertically or even in the opposite direction like upside down totally um, gets out with a very very beautiful writing. Until I knew that you have to make your design first in the way which we spoke about last time. And then you will start to apply this design in a specific ways. Here I have a simple design, which I will apply in a simple way on a canvas. But you can follow the same steps to apply it on a walls or cloth or anything else. It's gonna be the same. So the first thing we have to do to apply this design on any surface we have, that we transform this paper to a printable paper. And to make that happen, uh, we have many ways actually. But the most simple way is just we gonna come to the background here and start to cover this background with any material which have any kind of a sticky powder. You can use graphite, uh, like the normal pencil. I advise you to use something like 2B, 3B or something like that. You can use a charcoal, shark, soft bastel uh, or whatever it is it is not going to, to make a problem. So the idea here is just you're gonna uh, transform this paper to be like the carbon paper if you know it already. The carbon paper in general, it is just like a paper with two faces. One face is just like a normal face. It is a little bit plasticky. And the other side from the back, it is totally like you feel like it have some kind of powder and it have many colors. You can find it gray and the uh, most common one. It is just like uh, dark blue somehow. Uh, but in general, what you have to notice is the color of the material you're going to use on the background here, because if you will use this on a white background and you're going to use like a pencil or a black charcoal, it is not going to be a problem because when you print it on the white background, it is going to be uh, visible to you to see it easily. But if you will use the design you have on a dark canvas like black canvas or any kind of uh, black fabric or dark fabric in general or any other material which is gonna be dark, you just have to take care that um, you can use something like white like this chalk or even yellow or any bright color will appear or be visible to you on the dark, uh, the dark surface you're gonna use it in. Um, so for now, I will start to cover uh, the edges uh, of the writing from the back here uh, with my pencil so I can be more accurate. I can just like shade it with uh, any kind of color, but actually it is a very simple design so I can follow this simple way. So now I finish adding the graphite to the background and the next step is that I'm gonna stick this uh, printable paper uh, which have the design now on the canvas or whatever I want to print it on and then I will start to add some pressure to the edges of the writing and since it has some kind of uh, graphite in the background then this graphite will print where I pressed exactly um, on the top here 
and I can use a pencil, I can use uh, any column or anything which has like um, an edge like a normal pen. So it doesn't matter what you will use, just like try to be accurate with the edges and it should print the work in a good way. So right now we have the traced design on the canvas and as you can see here's the marks of the pencil where we traced everything. Um, the only thing you have to take care about is that before you remove the paper totally from uh, your canvas or whatever you used, you have to make sure that you cover all the edges um, before you remove the paper. Because if you remove the paper and then uh, you discover that you forgot some parts it is going to be very difficult to get the paper back exactly where it was. So most of the time try to fix some parts and then remove parts and see if you trace everything in a good way. Um, right now I will start to work on this canvas and you can totally use any color uh, you want. You can even like just cover the writing uh, with any kind of flat brush um, or even like you can make a background, leave the writing a little bit like white for example uh, you can use two different colors you can do whatever you want and also before you start you can change uh, the white background it's totally up to you for me i will use the golden leaves and for the golden leaves in general we cover um, the writing with some kind of uh, glue and then we stick the golden leaves and remove the extra parts and we end up with the design so i will start to work on that and i will let you see the final design Finally, Alhamdulillah, we have finished our design and I feel quite happy about it since it is uh, quite accurate and almost identical to uh, the design we had um, on the other paper. Hopefully someday I got a chance to make a larger design for architectural purposes or even like uh, interior design and share the steps with you. For now, if you have any questions, please leave it for me. I would be very glad to help all of you and until next time, Salah.